Hello everyone, on this video I'm going to show you the, how the a combo box can bind with the real uh, React state. This video is going to be a really basic, so so let's begin. So I have a React application which is running on the local host 3000 here and it's just printing a blank React, nothing else. And I have the code right here and this is my project called a React Toolsets. On this React Toolsets I have a bunch of files and this file is generated by uh, using the react create react app command you can also use this command to create the uh, react applications or if you're seeing this video you guys uh, you guys already have the uh, react applications running so let's begin so I have a re blank react here so I will just delete this I don't need this one I'm also using the bootstrap here I added the bootstrap link CSS on this index.html file just to look a little better so let's begin so first I will create the uh, the uh, combo box using a select and in the select I do have a bunch of option so I'll put the options here and this option I can give a value and the value is going to be a stake so this is going to be a collection of the uh, food so i'm going to put the uh, steak i'm going to copy this copy this and i'm going to put this to a sandwich i'm going to change to a sandwich and put this as a dumpling dumpling all right so i have a uh, three combo box here as you can see so I'm gonna change this to I'm gonna not change sorry I'm gonna add some classes here so this is a bootstrap class which I'm going to add which will look a little better than what I have at this point so I'll add some container give some padding so basically I'm adding some container and give some padding and I'm adding this custom select on bootstrap so I have it here okay okay I have it here I zoom this chrome to look a little better on this uh, video so okay so now I have the com I have the combo box here now I will create a state and I'm this is a functional component and the way to create a state on functional component is to use a use state functions and use state is is uh, coming from the react so we need to import from react and once we get we can add the initial state here so we will add the initial state is going to be null nothing at this point and the state what's what's the state is for we can create as much as state we like but we just need only one state at this time so we'll create a food state and uh, this is going to be a set food state and the first of this use state parameter is going to be a property where we which is going to be property where we can fetch the data of this state and the second one is going to be a method where we add the data and we can see the uh, result on food state so what I'm going to do now is on change event here this is a basic uh, JavaScript uh, uh, functions here so on this change event I will get the the event here uh, and on this from this event I can get the uh, selected food so I can write the selected food and I can do a e the target that value and I get the selected food now so once I get the selected food I will set the selected food to set food state I'll use a set food state to uh, add this uh, selected food so now I can get the value on food state and I will print the food state here on the bottom. So now if I select a sandwich, I can see a sandwich here. As a dumpling, I can see a dumpling. The first character is a lowercase because I'm adding the value is a lowercase. That's why it's saying you a lowercase here. All right. So, so now let's assume that if when we refresh this then it's not gonna print anything at this time so I will put my uh, the dumpling value here on the food state so now the initial state of this food is going to be a dumpling so if I refresh then it shows me a dumpling but as you can see this combo box is not going to be in dumpling it's going to be a state big stack because uh, the value in the initial value of combo box we didn't set it 
so the initial value of the combo we can set to the of food state so now if i refresh then it's go to the dumpling if i go to the select the steak then it goes to the state and sandwich and it goes back to the sandwich and that's all for this video guys hope you guys like it if you guys have any questions please comment below and please do subscribe my channels i will add more videos on programming tricks thank you very much for watching bye for now